Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Will Paul Foreman's husband, Billy Mayhew, Daniel Brocklebank, be there for him when he passes away next week, following a valiant struggle with motor neurone disease? Amy Barlow is troubled by Rowan Cumless conduct. Will Rowan get justice? Lisa Swain launches a clandestine expedition to bring down the villainous Joel Deering. Has little Doran Pop, along with his older sister Ruby Dobbs, Billy Naylor, been kidnapped? Last but not least, Tracy Barlow is concerned about her future with Tommy Orpington. Billy Mayhew attends to Paul Foreman as he passes away. Billy realizes he's lost his phone while whining about having a hangover which sends him into a panic because it holds all of his memories and pictures of Paul. Summer Spellman and Bernie Winter discover Paul unconscious and gasping for air on the couch as Billy begins to walk back the way he came. After realizing that Billy has abandoned Paul at the worst possible moment, Summer calls for an ambulance, but they are unable to get in touch with him. Despite all of their efforts to keep Paul alive, Billy faces an uncertain future. Will he be able to say goodbye to Paul before it's too late? Paul does indeed draw his final breath, whatever comes after. Billy wakes up on the couch and realizes with a sinking heart that life will go on without Paul as he looks at Paul's empty wheelchair. The family is deeply divided as they mourn the passing of their beloved Paul. Can Paul's funeral be planned by everyone working together? Two, Lisa Swain and Craig Tinker start working on Joel Deering clandestinely. Betsy Swain, Lisa's daughter, approaches Lisa and Carla Connor as they are having a lengthy talk outside the police station, hinting that there may be more going on between them than first meets the eye. Lisa is still determined to bring Joel down, regardless of whether this is true or not. She tells Dee Dee Bailey that she will investigate the text messages Joel's work phone revealed he had exchanged with a woman in exchange for not letting anyone know that they might lose their employment. Craig Tinker offers to assist in finding Joel's phone contact, Ellie Benton. Ellie's address is immediately discovered by Craig, but will she consent to speak with Lisa? Three, while Nick Tilsley reports Rowan Cumliff to the police, Ken Barlow worries about Amy Barlow. Toya Habib is informed by Nick Tilsley that Rowan will be reported to the police for blackmail. Nick then phones the police station and gives Lisa a notebook containing all of the information. Amy is informed by Lean Battersby that she sent herself numerous files from Rowan's PC via email. Does Lean know how to retrieve Amy's money? Amy informs William Roach's grandfather, Ken Barlow, who she will never be able to replace her 40,000 pounds bequest, that she will need to put in extra hours at work in the interim. Ken informs Cassie Plummer about his premium bond win and feels bad about it because he knows he might have helped her. Is Cassie going to be able to talk him out of giving Amy the money? As the week goes on, Jude Riordan's character Sam Blakeman exhorts Lean and Toya to forget about Nick and to keep in mind that they are sisters. Will there be more terrible news when Nick calls with updates regarding Rowan? 4. Doran Pop and Ruby Dobbs vanish from sight. After the human traffickers are apprehended, Tyrone Dobbs, Alan Halsall, informs his wife Fizz Dobbs that Alina Pop has emerged from hiding and will collect Doran the following day. However, Tyrone is unhappy because he knows that his daughters Ruby and Hope may not see Doran again while they fret over their little brother. When Tyrone opens the back door to bring Ruby and Doran inside, he is shocked to see the backyard empty. Alina confirms that they will be departing for Romania tomorrow. What is the status of them? 5. About Tommy Orpington, Tracy Barlow confides in Amy Barlow. Tracy plays Tommy's message to Amy, in which he expresses his deepest want for her return home and urges Tracy to take her back. What will Amy suggest her mother do? Will Tracy be leaving Weatherfield again? 
fans have worked out that Sarah Platt is going to fall for the charms of another bad boy since she has become involved with a lot of them throughout her time on Coronation Street. Following the reemergence of the vile pedophile Nathan Curtis, who had been grooming her daughter Bethany Platt, the long-standing character has recently been put to the test. Sarah planted one of her hairs in his van, setting him up as the reason behind Lauren Bolton's disappearance in an attempt to get rid of him. Kit Green, the police officer, saw her in the act and chose to ignore it. But in recent weeks, Kit's true nature has been exposed as he has been working with slick supplier Sid to get stolen goods and has attempted to force Beth Sutherland out of Witherfield. Many fans have also speculated that he may be related to the villainous Joel Deering. Another prediction they have now made is that Kit and Sarah might wind up dating. Is it possible that Kit and Sarah will end up together? It's the title of a brand new Reddit discussion. She's pretty much a definite thing if you're a terrible boy. Probably. With the fabricated evidence, they already have a connection. A fan said. Another said, he's slinny, so it's a given that he'll end up with Sarah eventually. As a solace prize after Daisy, if not as the ideal couple. If he stays on the show... Kitz is probably going to be a major womanizer. Someone else said, I think Daisy has a better chance than Sarah, but I never say never when it comes to soap opera relationships. Sarah's most recent romance ended after she had an affair with drug dealer Damon Hay, ending her union with Adam Barlow. Actress Tina O'Brien said in an interview from earlier this year that she appreciated portraying Sarah as a misfortunate person in love. She told Manchester Evening News, I think it's a lot more interesting as an actor. Although I do enjoy the concept of my character being content and comfortable sometimes, I find that playing her keeps me considerably busier and is a lot more enjoyable. The parts of the tale with Adam that had the will they slash won't they tension were my favorite. I feel like there are two characters who should be together but the universe has gotten in the way and they've never been able to work things out. It appeals to me that even if they part ways, there will always be a pull between them, just as there was for a considerable amount of time when she was with Gary. Kit Green, the police officer, saw her in the act and chose to ignore it. But in recent weeks, Kit's true nature has been exposed as he has been working with slick supplier Sid to get stolen goods and has attempted to force Beth Sutherland out of Witherfield. Many fans have also speculated that he may be related to the villainous Joel Deering. Another prediction they have now made is that Kit and Sarah might wind up dating. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.